Hello everyone, very good morning and good evening. Welcome back to the game of Five Flyers. In this week, we have with us Mr. Jignesh Chani. So before I welcome Jignesh, let me quickly introduce Jignesh that uh, who is Jignesh and what kind of things he has done. So Jignesh has transformed his journey. He he was working as a initially he was working as a logistics SAP logistics officer, and then he switched into and then he worked into the technical side of. He worked as a Netweaver consultant, and then he switched his journey and he become again SAP functional consultant. So he's having uh, he he worked more than nine years for SAP Netweaver consultant, and after that he switched himself into. SAP functional consultant. Uh, he's working right now as a sourcing and procurement Ariba. Not only sticking to the one product, but focusing on the full supply chain part. That's what he is doing it as a as a functional consultant. So he came to us six months back, and he has done training with us on sourcing and procurement mastery, excellence, job and mastery. He is a regular into the step up circle. He got trained on Ariba with us. So multiple trainings he has done. So he was already working. He just switched his journey from. technical to functional but he wants you know that uh, there are some people who would be uh, happy with the smaller things so jignesh is not one of them when he jumped into functional consultant he came to me and he said that bhai i i don't want to work into into a smaller part when i am working i not want to know end to end what is going to happen into the ariba side what is going to happen in s4 hana side and i just don't want to have a theoretical knowledge i want to have a deep knowledge i also want to get certified and he has certified in all this this sourcing and procurement lane he is certified into the multiple ariba certification he is certified for uh, both of the sap s4 hana sourcing uh, and procurement certification including upskill and this all he has done in last 4 to 6 month by putting dedicated efforts so he has gone through multiple trainings multiple videos system hands on he has also gone through the multiple books he put he put a very good decent efforts that by after doing putting all of this efforts he within 6 months he, he he now you you if you will speaking with him you will not say that he is from the net weaver background you will say that he is some expert into the sourcing and procurement or into the supply chain domain So with that brief experience I would I would love to welcome Mr Jignesh Chani. Jignesh welcome to the game of high flyers. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Thank you thank you Parminder and thank you Sarsavit. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah so Jignesh I have tried to tell your story in in some brief words right? I would love to yep. hear your story in your words that how you started your career journey from logistic officer how you moved to Australia and how you was working as a netweaver consultant what things make you to jump into as a functional consultant and how you make sure that you are when you are working as a functional consultant you know each and everything of it so it would we would love to listen that full story from your words okay thanks i'll try to say that uh, say hi uh, so i started my journey as a logistic officer i used to go warehouse from one warehouse to other i used to do like Because I'm basically uh, from India, so there's a Diwali software. So how we plan for uh, plan for the Diwali and plan the other uh, other products. But at the same time, then I was migrating to Australia. I came to Australia, and the journey was completely different. You can't expect you need to work at the same time, so you can't expect that I will wait, wait, wait. So I was uh, lucky to get an opportunity. I was working as an MDM consultant, so I worked. Uh, I did contracting for four years. I learned a lot of things in there. and in that four years i did mdm i did uh, uh, data of like material uh, master and at the same time workflow so there were so many things involved in it where i was got touch base with uh, security basis more and then i got an opportunity to work uh, cuz uh, i mean the family my family was growing so i was working a little bit i had to travel a lot but then i got opportunity near to my place so i was working but the job profile was a little bit different mm -hmm. but i accepted that and that's a good thing i accepted each and every challenge different so i got a flavor of all the module in sap one after the other i was working like bases uh, in the network technology i was like bases security bw bob j you name it and i was doing it but then i so in the australia there is a concept of redundant you guys can be redundant at any time 
they mm-hmm. give you decent money but still you are redundant so you need to take a next job and you can't wait so i got an opportunity so i was working with the company again and uh, with the blessings of my parents so i'm very thankful for them and god and then i think that my kids was grown up so i thought that now i'm doing too many things i just want to focus one thing and what i thought was like now you know when you work as the in the technical you need to work sometimes in weekend and then you work two hours three hours you need to claim one hour two hour i didn't wanted to be part part of that thing i didn't wanted to work at weekend one was one point was that and and the second point was i wanted to focus i wanted to like centralize myself that now 10 to 15 years i'll just focus on one thing mm-hmm. and then luckily so here here the management is really good the managers the the so you the managers are so good you can talk to them like a friend so my manager he invited me for a for lunch because i was uh, thinking of resigning and he said why i said i just want to focus i'm just going somewhere i can I, i can work more and i can learn more i can grow so he said we will give you opportunity in digital supply chain i said wow perfect i'll do that if you give me i'll crack it so then the opportunity was there i got it but now i had to prove myself so i started so i got i called couple of my mates here and there i was looking google the you are if you type in google you get plenty of people who are there yeah. but i just wanted to be with someone whom i can trust and who is there for me see you need to pay the money to anyone at the end money is de- near and dear to everyone money but at the same time you want is good service so and your team and colleagues are good they are always happy to help but you can't hold their hand that hey you help me this they are everyone is busy in the project so i wanted to do that on myself and i could foresee that after getting project or something if i if i plan myself if i if i upgrade my skills it will help me out and then one of my mate from us is very good so he gave me couple of reference i spoke to one or two but i spoke with parminder then i got an opportunity and uh, i spoke with him and uh, at that time i was working on a project and uh, i could see that some of the difficulties i was getting it and i wanted to do the ariba at the same time because there was i had a chances to be at part of an ariba project so i was looking the things and uh, then i saw that sourcing the best thing what i found was sasarik was that they are transparent i mean the guys are very transparent so parminder he said that for sourcing and procurement whatever there is is there for ariba we have good videos we uh, the uh, the the lectures are being there you can sign up you will get 50% or 60 or whatever there was a discount going on at that time it changes but you can but if you have questions i am not sure i am not the person i'll help you out i will try to it's not there but so the transparency i liked it and uh, i said okay no one knows everything so i said but i'll try to connect you but i don't promise but we will have a lecture in uh, sometime soon you can pay something extra and you can join that so i said okay that's good that that's perfect and i joined it i started my journey from there and then it was never going backwards cause there were so the lectures are there there is a so there are it's divide they have divided they are they are redefining every time again and again they because they speak with all the students they try to so what for the main focus of them is to help us so help help people like us to grow from it's either junior or medium or wherever is it so if you're junior you join mastery course if you are completely fresher there is a step up circle as well so that they have helps you out to build your cv what to say how to build a functional document there are so many tiny tiny things uh, which makes it uh, good better and best i'll say that so mm-hmm. it's a really good uh, of them and uh, for the mastery courses for the new starter so i, I had the knowledge i i i'm been with sap from couple of years so i have i bought my books and everything but you want a dimension so to polish somewhere to narrow down my skills that so i just did the mastery and then there is an if you have, if you have couple of years of experience they have an excellency course where they nail for for example like flexible fury workflow so how you develop the flexible fury workflow what is the hr steps how if 
if you do one configuration, all the workflows will be held and no one will receive the workflow, it'll go to one person. So, so this is the thing. And uh, I am, do, uh, so finally with the help, I was able to, I'm, I'm doing good at the moment, yeah. So yeah, so, I think so, that's it. So with this, all this learning, so if yeah. I compare a, a Jignesh Shani six months ago, working into the same uh, digital supply chain uh, role, and uh, Jignesh Jani as of now, working on to the role of uh, digital supply chain, what difference you find in yourself? See, at that time, I was looking for time and I didn't knew the things. Now I, I'm focused, I know. So with constant touch with uh, Parminder, they have a Telegram group, so where all the students are there, they have their own issues, they come up with their own issues, and you see the issues, you try to help them. and. So which upskills ourselves, you help them, but you're upskilling yourself as well at the same time. So at first I was doing learning Ariba P2P, but now I know that S4 HANA, so then 2020, 2021. So don't forget to So it's not like that you are enrolling once. Like so you are, it's like one or two years it goes through. TV. So material master, then business partner. So the business partner in 1809 was different. Business partner in 2020 is different. So now there is a business partner. You can link the address. So there's one business partner, but you can link. And there, there was a, one of the question in the exam as well, which helped me out. And yeah, uh, I was able to clear my exam with help of uh, uh, Sastagri and Parvandar uh, and his team. So there are so many things. And if you miss out the classes, so it's like you're doing mastery, but it's not like that one you're done and dusted, you're paid for it. So once the mastery is done, there is a, I think they have cycles. So first uh, basic is mastery, then is excellence. Then you do the mastery again and you don't pay for anything. So I've been doing this three, four times and every time you need to spend the time. I have spent a lot of time, but after spending the time, everything, every time I do that, uh, mastery or excellence, I learn something. Everything that every time I know that, okay, now I know. But the next time when I do, I find something. Are this I I was lacking this thing. Okay, I got something new. So the journey is like it's like an endless. But now I know how you start with sourcing. So material management was core. So my manager was very good. He said, Jignesh, stick to the core. So I did my core. Now I'm upscaling sourcing procurement. Then. Now I know in the Ariba. So once this is done, I did my Ariba. So Ariba, you can do sourcing and contracts in Ariba. But P2P cycle, you can do in S4 or you can either do in uh, Ariba. So it depends. But sourcing and contracts is very important if you want to do Ariba. So that's an important point. I think it this may help. Great, great to know that you got an end-to-end -end picture of it. And I also love that uh, you, you were sp speaking about the telegram community and <laughs> i'm very happy that you are very active there not only you are asking your questions you are also trying to help others that's what i also appreciate when when you try to solve other people problem you will learn much better your concepts get clarified that that's the power of community and the one point you are speaking that you join again that's to tell the viewers that we have a uh, now yearly plans we don't give access to a badge we give access to a one year community we are in one year, whatever the session you have subscribed, uh, let's say you are subscribed for sourcing and procurement mastery. What are the different uh, batches we'll be having in one year? You will be able to join all of them. Okay, a live session, you will be joining all of them. So that's what we are trying to give maximum because we understand that in first cut training, you would be able to grasp 40%. Second cut training will take you to the 80%. And the third cut training can make you 100%. Even with the 40%, you will be able to get a job if you're looking for but it's always to strengthening your basics and making strong uh, and sound in, in a particular subject that will happen in with the iterations, which Jignesh has done. So Jignesh, I'm very happy that you are joining the multiple live sessions still, even, even six months also, you are also joining the step up circle. So that all hard efforts has been paid off. You are working comfortable in your project now and you have done the multiple certifications also. So congratulations for that. Thank you so much. So thanks, Jignesh, thanks to you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. So uh, it would be good to know you are working in Australia. There are a lot of people who want on-site opportunities, who wants to work in Europe, Australia, US. It would be good to know from you that how the how the Australia market works for SAP. I think you are from uh, you are in Melbourne, right? Yes, I am in Melbourne. Yeah. Okay, right. Melbourne. So in in different region of uh, Australia. 
uh, uh, how the job market is going there, how the SAP job market is going there. If somebody wants to look SAP jobs in Australia, what kind of thing they need to do? Uh, see, this is only my view. Okay, this is only my view. So the market might be different. So, but what I have seen in like last fifteen or twenty years, previously, pa, previous, I think before COVID, the opportunities were different. But after COVID, I've seen that there's a lot of opportunities and uh, there's a lot of demand of the functional consultant, technical functional, any area, you name it. And there's a lot of opportunities, but they, most of the time, what they are looking for, they are not looking for one specialized person. So if they are doing something in technical or network, what they are doing, they have like in different, different modules in few of them. So if there's a functional one, in the sourcing and procurement, if he's no sourcing procurement, he knows SD, he knows something of WM, then that helps out because here there are less chances for the company that this person will be in the bench for longer time. If there's no project, they can push him to the sense to the second one, like toward uh, from SD to MM or something like that. Yeah, and right. The right. Opportunity, yeah. And the opportunity wise, they see it depends. There's a lot of a the opportunities are everywhere in Melbourne, Sydney, but usually I think what I've seen, so probably Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane as well. Sometimes there is the, if you're happy to go in countryside, there's a lot of opportunities. If, if you're open to work, see for me, for for me, the issue is like my family, see we have kids, they have school. So we, if we are getting a project, a decent project, we can go for the project, but we need to listen to our family and kids that we can't move them. So, and we, to jump, to travel too much. Some people can do it, some people can't. But if, if someone is flexible and they're, they're happy to move around, then there's a lot of opportunities there is. A very so good correct team. person and correct person. And uh, here, the main thing is they require reference checks. So there are two ref good reference checks they will require. But usually LinkedIn and few things, now the LinkedIn is doing a major role. So if you are in LinkedIn, people put a review on there. So they check your LinkedIn profile and they know that what you're talking about, it's like that. Three key things which I have noted with Jignesh has highlighted. Multi-skilling, make sure you are multi-skilled. People are preferring to have a people who has multi-skilled because if they are not getting a project for one module, if he is no other another module, Ariba, they, you can be pushed to Ariba, you can be pushed to sourcing and procurement. So if you are multi-skilled, the chances of getting opportunities and the jobs are more in Australia. Second thing which Jignesh has highlighted is to have a good references, which you can mention it, which can refer to you, okay, and which can confirm that, okay, what kind of projects you have done. References is also good. You can get the job with the references in Australia. Third thing is LinkedIn is becoming uh, very, very popular in all. Not earlier, it was only the US, Europe. Now, Asia, Australia, it's it's booming it up and the LinkedIn is helping a lot of people and uh, getting, getting jobs. Uh, one more question I would ask you, uh, Jignesh. So, uh, you know that if I talk about India, India is not that a big market for the freelancers and the contractors. India is a more market where you would be joining a company on a full term roles, right? What happens in Australia? Yep. Australia is the more towards the full term roles or more towards the contracts or the freelancing? Uh, it's both the way. I mean, some people see if you see if your knowledge if you're 15 years of experience 20 years of experience you have done tense uh, life cycle project then there are very less chances that they, that person will be uh, on payg they will do they will try to do a contracting unless and until i mean it's just i'm just saying i could be wrong mm, as well but, but i've seen okay. that many many consultants they are there they work as payg but the there's a lot of good contracting there is a good contracting rate daily rate here the only the only catch is probably so because what you are trying to focus here is, is for the people who are coming from offshore and they are trying to get a job here there. Mm -hmm. But for the locals, if they are twenty years, then he can do a contracting. It's like that. They can do a contract. They get a good daily rate. But at the same time, you there your job is not fixed. So if if your contract is gone, so for example, here is June. So June ends. So oh, if you lose your contract in October, there's no. No one is going, there is a very less chances. I, would, I won't say no one, but there are very less chances someone will get a contract in December, like November, December, January, January, because at that time, it's a Christmas time. Everything is on slag. Mm -hmm. So the, everything starts after Feb. So if he can survive for a couple of months, then he can do that. But if you're getting in a right company, like good consulting company, which I'm working or probably, so then there is a, 
you you're getting a really good paid and at the same time you get at the sea so sometimes money is important sometimes mental stress is important sometimes uh-huh. family strength is important so these all three things are there but if i think that if you're working with a good company payg if you're family it's good so but contracting is also good in australia it's not like india that you'll lose a job then you'll lose everything here you will get it eventually you will get it so so the key thing is that australia has the options in india the financing contract options if if when it comes to contract they give you very little in australia yeah. when you come to contract you get more right but australia has options yeah. you can go a full term role you can go into the contracting you can select what you want to do it so both things are open so what yeah. would be See, the I'll, I'll... Mm-hmm. sorry i cut did i cut you so you you can go on yeah so what would be the rates which can be expected for a 10 years of experience consultant if they go with the contracting what can can be the daily rates can be expected in australia uh, or if full term what can kind, of, kind of package people can expect it depends that you are doing a support project or usually in support they don't take that much con- uh, contractors they or they may they may take for one or two months or couple of months but if they are there's a project going on they take someone it depends it it starts from 600 700 800 1200 it all goes depends on the skills and skill sets and mm-hmm. their experience and how they negotiate and a few things so mm-hmm. so it can be between 600 to 1000 we can say right don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos yeah plus then you can say plus plus means I mean plus means more skills be, more skills it will increase. Yes, I've seen $1500 someone getting 2000 it depends that there is there is no so once you have knowledge then there's no limit right someone has 15 does you is a like you you know in and out you can do so architectural level job is different mm-hmm. mid mid level consultant contract is different so it should be something like that. Mm-hmm. But this is only my views this is not related it can change you know like it's not like I'll yeah. say it, so this is like black and white oh, I'm no. just sharing I'm just you are asking yeah, yeah. so I'm sharing yeah yeah But it's just a just opinion thing. opinion yeah I'll, say, yeah I'll just add one thing this is really out but of the topic but one thing in india if you're working in a contract in, in an sap you're paid 15000 15 lakh 20 lakh 40 lakh package in australia so like you convert that it will be i don't know what dollar it will be but in australia the country is so beautiful the country is so beautiful if someone is coming it's not only the money it's the country itself is amazing i mean if you are doing a contracting if you are working in it if you are working somewhere else you are going to get paid so at the end the mental health is very important the family is very important if you drive an uber i've seen people driving uber and they are making probably someone is making 80k someone is making 110k mm-hmm. a year because they are there someone has left an it job so the country is amazing if you are coming here if you are australia then there is no, no nothing like that sorry it's a little bit off the topic but no, i just no, want to add if someone is part, coming part of the topic that's the beauty of australia that's good to know so yeah. uh, so what kind of things you will suggest that if somebody is working uh, as a functional consultant and he does not feel comfortable on his uh, job and he wants to make sure that he wants to learn more or he want to be work as a, con- a consultant he want to contribute more in the project what kind of things you will suggest to the people so that they would be able to work in their projects with more confidence i'll just tell them on the functional one do one to one contact with parminder it's free he helps <laughs> out for one to one he'll guide you the perfect from bottom but yeah but for me it will be like you need to upskill yourself that's what i am doing i'm still upskilling so i don't know i i won't say that i know anything about sourcing and procurement i just know one person i'm still learning it's a long journey i still need to learn and i'm glad that this uh, mr sastagai parminder and the team is there to hold my hand that wherever wherever i get stuck and so for example if i'm doing something i have like p2p i need to create a purchase requisition or some thing into automatic for two plants so i'm going to go back to them like mm-hmm. to the community i'm going to put it there so i'm going to get some response and i'm going to do my homework it helps it it helps you at the end of the day to narrow down the knowledge as well as to speed up your process learning process so learning is the key so you need to learn learn and learn that's what i'll say and you for the learning you require right resource so you may choose sastragi you may have someone else whatever is it but you need to choose the right resource whom you trust and uh, 
it it needs to help you because you are paying the money it's your money your dollar and uh, everyone is there to help you but unless and until if you don't work nothing is going to happen it's like that so i missed few couple of classes last time i because due to my family constraint so they are there they sasagik is there they are there they are giving me everything but i was not there so it's my loss but i came back so what i'm trying to say is it's is your journey you need to spend time on that with the correct person and correct team and correct resource and they have a very good server the servers are pretty good they upgrade the server sasa greek is uh, i started with like 2019 but i was uh, traveling australia so i couldn't but i started from january which was 2020 and right now they have upscale to 2021 so they have the servers are good it's not like that you type in a mm01 you try to create a material and it is going to stay there for a couple of minutes and no one you need to call someone and wait for a couple of days it's not going to happen it's great mm-hmm. and the obyc settings and uh, the material master the business partner how they link so they are going to hold your hands whether you are a new or you are an old guy they are going to they are going to help you and you need to find out that where you fit in but you can easily cross from master to excellence but at the end of the day you require a project once i started with the project i thought that before starting the project i know i know everything after starting the project i thought i don't i know nothing i there's just long journey and which is constantly going on mm-hmm. great great i think that answers your question hopefully yes absolutely right so we are here to help you out we have all the resources nowadays we are also pushing hard i am i'm talking i'm talking to my team call all the people who are not able to join uh, force them to join it the live session because sometimes the people go uh, demotivated they have a lot of things to come up so it's our moral duty we are not teachers we are coaches so it's it's our moral duty to pull you out from your blanket and make you on the field and get get your practice done so that's what we all are doing but after all it's your journey without your efforts without your will power it will not happen so jignesh has done a lot of things we are here to guide support provide resources but jignesh it's your effort which you have put it uh, we we really appreciate the kind of efforts you have put it the kind of learning you have quickly done into the multiple areas and in that quick way of in within the 6 months that's that's truly recommend um, uh, appreciable so thank you for putting that effort and i would say that this journey has just started we'll be going through a long 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 journey and there are a lot of things to more to learn always keep yourself updated you will definitely fly ahead yeah three things help me my parents blessing so you need to take care of your parents your parents blessings is very important you can't leave them their blessings has made me here second is you require a good team which is like uh, like parminder or anyone but you require a good coach good mentor who helps you out and third one i'd like to thank covid corona because of that we are working home we are working home so i we i cut all the times for my travel to us going to us coming i used you need to use all the times so i used to start the every bit of time i have used it to upgrade myself so if i'm walking here on my treadmill i just put that uh, mm-hmm. video of uh, parminder sir and i try to go through so time management is very important in this if you if you miss the first 6 months the train is gone you you because if you lose your confidence then then you can't do anything you need to get, get to gain your confidence you need to give everything for first 3 months else you join after 3 months but make sure if you are joining you need to work it straight away mm mm-hmm. good 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 don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos so i hope that all of the people would uh, who was listening to us would be having a good benefits taken from this that how you can upskill yourself and if you are in looking for jobs in australia jignesh has also put it uh, his view point that uh, how is the job market in australia specifically for sap so with this we would be ending this session here and will will uh, join back with the next success story uh, till the time thank you and goodbye thank you thank you so much